Hey guys, Mr. Musil back again for some more math. Um, today we are going to talk about area slices and this will be the last lesson in unit 15. Um, how that will look is first we'll talk about what is a slice, then we'll look at some horizontal slices of 3D objects, vertical slices of 3D objects, diagonal slices, they all kind of have their own thing, and then we'll come back together and recap to figure out what do we just look at. All right, let's get started. All right, so what is a slice? Well, this unit we've been looking at 2D objects and 3D objects. Um, so a slice is basically trying to figure out what 2D shapes come about when we chop a 3D shape in half or in some part of it. So here are some examples of that. So in this picture, you can see a rectangular prism being cut three different ways. On the left, you can see it being cut vertically or top to bottom. On the top, you can see it being cut horizontally or from side to side. And then on the bottom or the right, you can see it being cut diagonally or kind of across the shape at a bit of an angle. So we're going to explore all three of these different types of slices and what they will result in. So we will start with horizontal slices. Uh, these are our notes from our website. Uh, and what it says is an area slice is all about taking a two dimensional slice from a three dimensional figure. Um, so this is an example of a horizontal slice. What we have is a rectangular prism being kind of chopped in half side to side. So horizontal is side to side. Think of the horizon. If you go to look at the sunrise, um, the landscape is always going side to side in your vision. So that's what horizontal means. It's going side to side. A horizontal slice is going to go from one side of a shape to the other. And then what we want to look at is what shape will result from that. So if we chopped this rectangular prism from side to side, what would happen? Well, as you can see here, we would get a square. Um, so if we chopped it and then looked at the top, of what we just sliced, it would be a square. You can think of what would happen if I chopped a cereal box, right? If then you, if you chopped it in half and then looked at the face of what was left, you would see um, a rectangle because it wouldn't have a square base like this shape does. Um, anyway, so a horizontal shape is going side to side in an object. Here, it's gonna result in a square. All right, so what about a vertical slice? Here we have the same rectangular prism that we just looked at with a square base, four by four, and then a height of 10. And we wanna see what happens when we take a vertical slice. So what is a vertical slice? Well, remember vertical is uh, up and down, top to bottom. So it will be a slice from the top of the shape to the bottom of the shape. So once we are able to recognize that this is a vertical slice, then we wanna figure out okay, what shape will result from this? And we can see here, this shape is gonna be a rectangle. When we take a vertical slice of this prism, we get a rectangle. Looks a little bit different than the uh, horizontal slice because uh, this rectangle almost mimics the side, like the right and left side of the object if we were looking at it. And maybe right now you're wondering like, oh my gosh, this kind of seems a little bit, a uh, little bit interesting, a little bit difficult. Um, what I'll tell you is what we really are trying to do here um, for our purposes right now is be able to identify the difference between a horizontal slice, a vertical slice, and a diagonal slice, and then be able to describe what the shape would look like based on that slice. So here's just both a horizontal slice and a vertical slice together so you can see them and kind of distinguish. Same shape different slices. Our goal, let's be able to recognize what's a horizontal slice, what's a vertical slice, what's a diagonal slice. Great, let's move on to diagonal slices now. Okay, so diagonal slices. What's a diagonal line is maybe the first thing we can look at. So in a 2D shape, if we have a diagonal line, that means it's cutting across the shape at some sort of angle. So if we take a diagonal slice of a 3D shape, that means we're gonna cut across the 3D shape 
at an angle. So here's an example of a diagonal slice, and you can see that it cuts across this prism at an angle. And what we're gonna wanna figure out then is what shape will result. So there are a few ways you can diagonally slice an object. One is through the middle, which you can see here. Uh, one is gonna be just at the edge of it, and one is gonna be through the corner. We will explore all three here. So the picture I just showed you and this picture right here are slices through the middle. They don't go over any corners. Um, and when we take a diagonal slice of a 3D object, again, we're just trying to figure out what does that shape end up looking like. So here, if we take a diagonal slice of a rectangular prism, what we end up with is a rectangle. Our dimensions are a little bit more difficult to figure out here um, because they're not directly aligned with the dimensions of the 3D object that we already know. And while we definitely want to work towards understanding um, how can we find all of those dimensions, right now I think we should focus on just being able to recognize what sort of shape is going to result from this slice. Now let's look at what happens if we take a diagonal slice of the edge and also we'll talk about the corners. All right, so here we have a bit of an interesting situation. It's asking us what happens when we take a diagonal slice through just the top edge of our rectangular prism. What we need to know basically is that if we do that, take a diagonal slice just through the top edge, we're gonna get a line segment. Basically that's saying, what if we take just that edge off? If we have a, a 2D plane that's um, just cutting the edge of that off, what we'll get is a line segment. So this would be like, what if you cut off just the edge of one of the sides of your cereal box? All right, so here is the last slice we will look at today. And this is the slice through a corner of a rectangular prism. Um, so again, what we're trying to figure out is, okay, what sort of slice is it? horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, and then what shape will result from that. So here we have, again, a diagonal slice, right? It's going kind of across the shape at some sort of angle. And then now we need to figure out what sort of shape will result from it. And maybe you can see when you cut this corner out, unlike most of the other results that we had, this is actually going to give us a triangle. Um, this is a problem actually from your classwork, so you will see this one. Um, but you can see that when you cut the corner, you don't end up getting four sides, you just get three. Um, so when we take a diagonal cut through the corner of a three uh, rectangular prism, we're gonna get a triangle. All right, that will do it for today's lesson. We have looked at a bunch of different slices. I wanna propose this as a potential resource to help you guys out. I know it can be difficult to visualize some of the things that we're doing here, um, especially without anything physical to touch. Uh, but there's this great website called GeoGebra, and they have some cool resources where you can kind of play with 3D objects and look at what happens when you slice them. If you wanna check that out, the link is gonna be in the description of the video. So go ahead, click that, play around with it. Maybe it'll help you. All right, let's do a little recap. All right, great job, everyone. So let's do a little bit of recap about what we just looked at. Um, so first we looked at horizontal slices, then we looked at vertical, then we looked at three different types of diagonal slices. Um, so to kind of capture all of the process, what we're gonna do when we get these problems is we're gonna look at it and we're gonna say, okay, what type of slice is it? So horizontal, does it go across side to side? The shape, is it vertical? Does it go top to bottom? Um, of the shape, or is it diagonal? Does it go across it at some angle? Um, and then if it is diagonal, is it diagonally cutting the shape through the middle? Is it cutting it just at the edge? Or is it cutting through the corner of that shape? After we figure out what sort of slice it is, then we will see, okay, what shape will result? Is it gonna be a triangle, a rectangle, a trapezoid, parallelogram, um, anything? And then bonus, like I said, this is not our focus, but if you want to, to try this, it would be great. Um, see, can I then find the dimensions of the shape that results from that? All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, join us next time. We are gonna start talking 
about unit 16, which is about scale drawings. Um, go ahead, practice this stuff in your classwork and your homework. And most importantly, stay healthy, stay happy, and go Dolphins.